Hey guys, this is Kay with Skywolf Game Studios, and today we're going to show you a very quick, easy, painless way to do source control using just a folder system, GitHub Desktop, and Unreal Engine. So let's hop to it. So what I want you to do is go to your browser, search for GitHub Desktop, and take you to this. Go ahead and click that link. When you get there, you'll end up here. Go ahead and download the 64 Linear for Windows, or you can put it on Mac if you wish. It's going to give you an installer. Go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to go ahead and automatically install. Make sure you have a GitHub account. And then after that's all done, it will pop up with a box like this, except there will be a box right here that will ask you to log in. So go ahead and do that now if you haven't already, or you don't have this yet. Um, after that, you'll, you're ready to rock and roll. So you'll go to new repository, call this simple source control. Okay. A simple source control project for the description, okay? And for the local path, set that wherever you want it. Uh, I'm just chucking mine into this folder that I have selected right here. It looks like this, it's just a blank empty folder on my desktop, I have it there on purpose. Um, for JitIgnore, it's important to make sure you scroll all the way down, select Unreal Engine. This will eliminate any heavy files that and build and save files that you don't really need. And after that, go ahead and click Create. You don't need a license or anything. Um, here, now you're going to end up with a blank project like this. Go ahead and publish the repository. Uh, it's going to leave the name, leave the description. If you want it to be private, make sure this box is checked. And if you have otherwise on ticket, I'm going to leave this one public so you can see it. And then if you're a part of an organization, you could set that there. I'm putting mine as none. <coughs> Excuse me. And go ahead and publish. And now what I want you to do is go ahead and open up the Unreal Epic Games Launcher. Go to library. We are going to use Unreal Engine 5, but it will work for previous versions. It's painless and you don't have to worry about most issues. And that's why I usually use this method. All right, go to games. You're gonna end up with the project browser. I'm gonna set it to the third person. Just gonna title it the same thing, simple CP or something like that. Now what I want you to do is change the path to that desktop folder or wherever you put it, okay? Um, so I think, No, nope, I want this one. Make sure you set the correct file path, otherwise you'll end up with a bunch of them. And then go ahead and basically what it's gonna do is stick this and everything inside of that folder. Go ahead and create the project and you'll see it has a whole bunch of files here to the right or left. Um, it's been a long day. <laughs> and then go ahead, it's gonna load up everything. Here's our project in Unreal Engine 5. Go ahead and update, dismiss, file, save all. What I want you to do now is go ahead and close it. And we're just going to title this for our first commit, simple clean source SC project. Project. Starting with clean SC project 4. That's where we're making our notes. Control. Okay. And just go ahead and commit. So what it's taking, doing is taking all these files and it's getting ready to push it. It's 
building a list for you. And once that's done, you're going to see a little one right here, depending on the, how many you have. Uh, if there's anything over here, don't even worry about that. Just go ahead and push. And depending on how many objects you have, this could take be really quick. Otherwise, it could take a little while. Um, and if we look at the changes, the history over here, you can actually see where it's this arrow, and that's what it's pushing. This was the creation of the project. And so I'm just going to pause it for a moment while that is. Um, pushing and we'll be right back. And we're back. Yes, you can see at the top, it is almost done. Generally, the f that took about 10 minutes. Uh, generally, the first push is always the longest. So as a good rule of thumb, uh, make a couple changes in your project, then push that and don't let it build up to too many. Otherwise, it can take that long again. But usually the first one is always the longest. Um, so you can wait if you wish. Okay, so if we go to repository, view on GitHub, we can actually see our projects right here. And you can have issues, you can do pull requests, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, you can view insights and whatnot. All right, so let's go back to this. Go to the folder that we chucked it into. And if you go into that, you can actually just double click on this. I think you can do it in here too, but I'm just doing it that way. Then back up the project. Um, just a quick explainer. This happened because I pushed before the project fully shut down. That's why that happened. I would have waited. I would have grabbed all that at once. All right, so what we're going to do <clears throat> is just duplicate this cube just so you can see what's going on. And if we look back over at the project, you can see there's a bunch of green pluses it's because it's adding new files. And it's based on this because we added that. Uh, my streamer. Recording software just bogged out for a minute there. Um, but anyways, so we'll do that. We'll go ahead and delete this by accident, per se. And then let's go ahead and save all that. Uh, I wouldn't recommend pushing or anything while that's open. So save all, although you can. But I wouldn't advise it. Now you can see these red means that we remove something. Green is what was added. So in, the, in this case, it was cubes that we added, and we removed that section. So if we open back up that project, just for just to show you real quick, again, just a second. Love how Unreal Engine 5 loads 10 times faster. This is so much better. All right, so there's the cubes. That's gone. Let's just go ahead and close it. And let's just say I made some changes. Okay. And just make, yeah, fill in your description, remove, edit, cubes. This is how I generally do it, but you can do it however you like. Moved section. I can't spell a day. All right, and then just go ahead and commit. You'll see this one will go much faster. Push. And if we refresh over here to code, you can see that was 11 seconds ago. You can just click in the folder and see all that. All right, so <laughs> how do we get that back? So to get that back, those cues and undo what we did, Go to made some changes and you right click and go to revert changes and commit. And then it's going to ask you to repush it. So if you go changes, 
Uh, never mind, it doesn't show up there. It just shows up here. It's got a little arrow next to it. Go ahead and push that again. And now that that's done, um, so this changed. You'll see a log here and everything. So now if we go back into that project, you should see that everything is back as it was. Look at that. So this is proof that this is a very, very simple folder-based source control system that works and will work with most projects. See, there's that section back. The cubes are all gone that I added. And there you go. Um, so that is a very, very easy way to do source control. And as you can see, I have several projects that use this. Um, I would just make sure I wouldn't go over 100 megabytes for each file, otherwise it will lead to an arrow and then you'll need to enable LFS, which does require coding. But as long as it stays below that, most of the time you won't run into this issue. And you, there's a way around a couple things, and I'll show that in another video, such as for textures that might be larger. Um, but for now, nine times out of 10, this will work very well for any project. And this is proof of that. If you have any questions, um, feel free to join my Discord or leave a comment below. And please subscribe. I'll be posting more videos. Uh, and you guys all have a great weekend.